This video is specifically on saturation in relation to color relativity. So, you know, here we have our quote from the lecture. This is all based on the course materials. You know, and looking at this example, very similar to the earlier one. Give it a second here to refresh. There we go. And, you know, we have this saturation. You know, saturation is based on both this S and B value. You know, if you notice here that, you know, the saturation as defined in HSB goes uh, to a white. Now while this is a reduction in saturation as we've been discussing it, you know, it's not a reduction in saturation based on kind of gray. So together, you know, both of these as we learned in week one, you know, since this is more of a tint and this is more of a shade, you know, these are both modifications that reduce the saturation. So you need to you consider both of these together in a context, you know, not just the S value when you're looking at saturation. So as you'll see here, you know, I have, you know, this background fully saturated to kind of show, you know, this idea of full saturation and how we can see them together. But, you know, as I move into the center, I reduce the saturation in both the S and B values. We're not just talking about saturation in, in the sense of creating the tint as it is identified in HSB. We're talking about it more in the you know the case of the hue saturation tool where saturation creates you know a gray it removes the you know the what we identify as the hue from the color so looking at these centers you know they're both the same you know and the idea here is you know with this high sat saturation of the background you know related to this lower saturation in the center that this this center should become you know, less saturated in appearance. This visual illusion occurs where the you know the saturation saturation is reduced, you know, almost pulled out of the center. And you know, in the same idea, you know, notice that these are the same in the center. You know, if you're seeing it, there seems to have been some confusion about the example since there wasn't you know this attachment at the bottom showing that they were clearly the same. You know, but the idea here, you know, is that this saturation, while still the same, is relatively higher than this background saturation. You know, see, we have the S of 60%, the B of 75%. You know, and then when we go to the center, you know, both of those values are higher, showing a clear indication that the saturation is higher you know, due to the reduction of the amount of white and black present. So, you know, and thinking about this, you know, this is a relative situation. You know, the centers are, you know, they're the fixed aspect of the assignment, you know, but the background here being higher causes this to appear lower in saturation because it is re relatively less saturated, not, you know, you know, it's, it's a relation to these backgrounds to the centers, not the backgrounds to each other, which, you know, there is relationships you know, occurring, but we're focusing on this as kind of shown in the examples that, you know, the more extreme differences you can get. So, you know, another situation that we run into here is where, the, you know, the saturation in this case is is clearly lower than both of these backgrounds. You know, th we have the same backgrounds here, you know, nothing kind of silly going on. You know, but in this sense, you know, these, these centers are less saturated. You know, you can see here, you know, we have the S and B values on this yellow, you know, at 60 and 75 respectively, you know, and now they're dropped to 50 and 60 respectively on this, you know, kind of red-orange hue. So in this idea, you know, both of these backgrounds being higher in saturation in relation to this center, you know, saturation, you know, the center will appear even further desaturated. Now, the, now there is a difference, of course, because this one, you know, is relatively higher in saturation, but in the end, you know, both centers are appearing less saturated, so there's not that dramatic push that you're going to get. Now, while there's, you know, we still have the issues of value occurring that we looked at, you know, previously, you know, we're trying to focus on just the saturation. So, you know, for assignment two, you can do either saturation or value. That's up to you. But we want to see a clear indication of which one you're doing. It shouldn't, it shouldn't take any kind of guesswork, and your explanation should support what we see. So let's see where we go from here. Thanks.